Also, I'm unbanned on TikTok for making fun of my own disability. Okay. Uh, remind me, chat. I can't. I can't make fun of my own illness on TikTok. I get yelled at. They'll ban me for hate speech. <laughs> I can't hate on myself. No more self-deprecating humor uh, about my illness. Cool. Just whack me. Give me a good whack. Otherwise, I won't remember. All right, YouTube streams live. TikTok streams live. Don't talk about the ban. They'll ban you. Oh my god. Okay, let me get out of my system. <laughs> Fuck you, TikTok. <laughs> Bitch. Titty. Shit. Okay. I'm not live on TikTok yet, so we're good. Um, I am so behind on shit, guys. I'm gonna level with you. I am so fucking behind. I haven't touched Adobe Premiere in like two or three weeks. Um, I might have to, I might have to rely on the boys for some help at this point. Cause I am so fucking swamped. Um, but if you want content right now, Omar posted a video. So go watch Omar's video. He posted a Helldivers video. It's good. It's funny. And I'm pretty sure Mike posted a video last week. Go watch their videos, please. Listen, thank you. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I was halfway through the video and someone decided to go live. Well, I was I was just sitting in bed. I've been in bed all day. I got bored. I wanted to say hi to chat. Also, is the YouTube stream working? I can never tell these days. It breaks so easily. I think it's working. Maybe not. I can't tell. I think it's working. Okay. YouTube stream's working. Okay. It's working. Cool. Thank you. All right. Let's go live on TikTok. Hopefully nothing breaks. Chat, we got to behave. Best behavior. Best behavior, chat. Best behavior. Boop. Hi, TikTok. I think we're golden. I think we're Gucci. See, everything's working now. Awesome. Oh. I feel like I could nap for like three days. Dude. Devil's Dogma. What happened? What was it called? It's not Devil's Dogma. It's um Something Dogma 2 came out recently. And it has, it's got Capcom written all over it, dude. The microtransactions are insane. Dragon's Dogma, too. Yeah, let's take a look. I want to see the microtransactions. It's mixed on Steam. Capcom is notorious for putting really, like, unnecessary um, microtransactions in their games. Because money. Let's see. You can have a respawn token for a dollar in a RPG. Single player RPG. Um, I also believe in order to edit your character, it's two dollars. And there's only one save file. Wow. Whose terrible idea was that? And fast traveling? Jeez. And of course the devs it's not the devs that want this. It's the it's the publisher. I get that, but Lord have mercy. No business being in a video game. Because you can doesn't mean you should. They got games like Helldivers that are just like mwah, masterpiece. Forty dollars, that's it. And it's a seventy dollar game. And it's like Full price. It, it's it's just there's no excuse. Yep, that's me, John. The very same. What's up, Captain Coke? I didn't say hi to you earlier. What's up, Jay? Forgive me with COD. I haven't played COD in weeks. Let's see. We don't have any audio. That's fine. You guys hear audio? We have game audio. 
think so. Okay, we're golden. Also, if you if you didn't hear, uh, unfortunately, ooh shipment. Uh, unfortunately, my knee replacement is delayed at least another three months. My levels are not, my blood levels are not where they're supposed to be at. And the risk for uh, complications is too high, which sucks. Um, so it's going to be another three months of waiting, essentially. And then we'll do more blood work and see how it goes. It really sucks. I was super bummed. Thank you for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Aridex? Is that how I say it? Welcome. So I'm bummed, but it, like, I get it. I get why the surgeon's like, I don't want to risk serious complications. So it, it, it just kind of... We gotta deal with, unfortunately. I play on PC, so once everything calms down with like the family stuff, I'm gonna get back to the grind and get back to, you know, trying to do my, my schedule and the YouTube stuff and try to make money so I can save up. Uh, will you still need a wheelchair after a knee replacement? I don't, I don't think so. The reason I have to use the wheelchair as often as I do is because I have severe um, osteoarthritis flare-ups where I just can't... The knee is so damaged that it causes the knee to get swollen and I can't put any weight on it. It's really the only reason I use the wheelchair right now. But I'll have it for, like, emergencies. It... When you're as, like, sick as I am, it doesn't hurt... Like, it doesn't hurt to have a wheelchair. So... Like, I'll probably end up traveling with it. If I'm going to be completely honest, until I feel super comfortable. Because there are days where I, I'm just too sick that I, like, I struggle just to walk from exhaustion. So, like, it might not be a bad idea just to have it. Ooh, why is my computer struggling so much? I just updated the drivers. Maybe because wallpaper engine's on? Hold on. Let's pause that. Let's see if that helps. I think that'll help. Okay. Cool. So yeah, it won't be as necessary. And that's like the goal. And right now I'm kind of dealing with like medication symptoms that I'm not used to. And all, again, all my doctors are like, you're doing so good. Like we just need to get you to get that replacement and then you'll be solid. Then we can decrease your medication. I'm at, like, I'm just like right at the, right there, right there, dude. We're, I'm so close to like getting approved for everything. But it's just not enough. Thanks, Brick. I appreciate it. Oh, Omar. You know you're still a mod over there, right? Gigabit? You lucky bastard. So you're gonna get a thousand up, a thousand down? Rick gifted us up. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Enjoy the emotes. Yeah, I won't be doing another react to cute animals. That was a that was a handful of videos because people really liked it, but I don't hang out with the person I used to do videos with anymore. So not happening. Stepped in to say hi. Oh, it's okay. I know. This is like way later than I normally stream. And that's fine. Have a good rest of your night. Oh, man. Speaking of anime, I've seen um, clips of Jujutsu Kaisen, the Blu ray release. Thank you for getting to the stop. JF, I appreciate you. Thank you for gifting this up. watched much of the latest season but I hear people are mad about the the manga panels for uh, JJK too repetitive for their liking well it's it, my thing is, is it's a shonen shonen anime 
you know, they tend to fall in that hole eventually. What's up, really, no fam? ¿Qué pasando? How's it going, gamer? Oh, there was another one. How you been with the standing desk? Unfortunately, I can't use the standing desk. My doctors have advised against it. It's just going to irritate the knee more. I do have one. It's great. It's great when I'm not, like, struggling to put weight on the leg. Um, but again, the... It's just going to irritate the knee more. Once I get the surgery, it'll be great. It'll be like a relief on my back. Undead unluck. I haven't seen that. I haven't even heard of that. I, I keep seeing clips of the one with the... the I, I assume she's an elf? She's like the main character of the show. I keep seeing clips from that. Apparently she's got like gremlin energy, which is a shocker. Tina likes watching characters with gremlin energy. Well, who would have who thunk it? Oh, I don't play Warzone, dude. I only play Warzone with, uh... God, I haven't played Warzone consistently in like two years. No, I haven't seen that, Jay. To be fair, I haven't watched a lot of anime. I'm just now getting back into watching movies. I was really struggling to get through a movie lately. My attention span is just shot. But I did rewatch. Um... God, I'm like drawing a blank here. What movie did I rewatch recently? Bullet Train. I rewatched Blade Runner. It was an animated movie I rewatched that I really liked. I haven't been in a stream forever. Oh, it's all good. Man. Snuck up on me. Hey, you. Golly! Excuse me, chat. I'm trying to look away. Okay, we're good. Gotta watch those. Yeah. I guess the, the last show I finished was Blue Samurai. I guess Hell of a Boss. Well, not Hell of a Boss, um, Has Been Hotel. I did watch that recently as well. That just came out. Bullet Train is really good. I like that movie a lot. Oh, I rewatched Twilight? God. What a movie, dude. What a, what a movie. <laughs> not that it's good, but it's just... It's Twilight, you know? I grew up watching that. That was like, I was, what, 13 when that movie came out? I was target demographic, dude. I was absolutely the target demographic for that movie, and I ate it up. No way. Oh, yeah. It's just so, it's so bad it's good. And I appreciate the movie more now, because in a lot of ways, the movies, the romance makes no sense to a lot of people. It's because Stephanie Meyer is Mormon, and now that you know that fact, like, the way it's written makes so much more sense. It makes so much more sense. Oh. I don't know why they keep using stunts. And that ninja perk doesn't really, um, stop stuns as effectively as I wish it did. It makes it so you can keep moving forward, but you can't turn your head. It just feels kind of pointless. Jed from Twilight stole my name. Oh my god. Where'd he go? No. Nope. She's going in. Dude. 
Sword is great. Quality, man. It's quality. Oh, until I screw up. Yeah, we're good. Going to bed, Janet? Good night. For EU, stopping by to say hello. I appreciate you guys stopping in to say hello. Neon, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I'm trying to get as many followers on TikTok so I can actually monetize over here. Those builds are brutal. Woo! We're good! We might actually win this. Can't, can't look! Oh! 41 kills, not bad, dude. Oh, the wolf stole your name. Uh, yeah, Jacob, Jacob. I was like drawing a blank for a second. Nice to see you. Thanks, Neon. Trying to get back in the rhythm of things. I've definitely been on a, a rewatching kick. I, I struggle to watch new stuff. Even if they're like, it's really good, I still struggle to like sit down and commit to a whole new thing. But uh, I hear that's pretty common these days. Who don't want to commit to new shit? I don't blame them, man. A lot of new stuff is booty cheeks. Although I will say, I heard that X Men ninety seven is uh, a pretty good animated series. So far, I'm a I'm a sucker for X Men. I loved the uh, two thousand X Men movies. I don't remember if I don't think I watched the X Men show as a kid, but I watched so many shows that were similar to it. That's from my hand. Okay, I can do that. Uh, what can do a shipment? I don't mind doing around a shipment. I did play 2042 recently. That was fun. Yeah, if your computer can handle it, I I'd say it. Go back and play it. When I did a game night a couple weeks ago, I I played on uh played Halo and I played Battlefield. Both ran fine. Slen, welcome back, dude. Prime game and sub, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for using your Bezo bucks on me. Ooh. Very nice. Team he looks such a dork with this thing. But besides Dragon's Dogma 2, did any any other game come out that people were pumped for? I feel like... I don't want to call it a dry spell, because there's so many games that have come out recently. But, compared to how frequently people cycle through games now, it, it kind of feels like a dry spell. Kind of, sort of. But I've also been really, really preoccupied, so maybe that's why I'm also like... I'm a little out of the loop with games right now. Uh, yeah, they need to tweak that ninja perk. I feel like it doesn't do as much with well, ninja kit. It doesn't do nearly as much with reducing stuns as I think it should. Oh, come on. Can't turn my head properly. Waiting for Hades 2? Absolutely, dude. I'm, I'm ready to simp. I am so ready to simp. You're just not even funny. Speaking of simping, okay, chat. Have you seen those two those two ladies dancing? Have you seen that uh, going viral? Uh, for what game was it? God, you guys told me the game on Twitter. Ask uh, guys, who are these two lesbians dancing? What's going on here? I need context. Um, 
And it was like something Star Rail? Monokai? I don't know. I just saw two pretty ladies. That's my brain kind of froze over. Um, that might be a fun game to play. I know no other context except for there's two ladies and they were dancing. Low barrier of entry for me, I guess. I am who I am, chat. Yeah, and right away Nicole's like, Nicole knew exactly what I was talking about, which was hilarious. Um, yeah, that might be on the, on the uh, itinerary. Check that one out. It's by the same people who made Genshin, right? I want to say it is. Could be wrong, you'll have to correct me in one chat. I don't know nothing about nothing. Also, my week was so stressful, I was this close to resubscribing to WoW. That's like my my vice when life is brutal. World of Warcraft. one of those things if Tina resubscribes to WoW it's time to check on Tina one of those games the sword has to be done right yeah it's probably done probably good also what's up with that apex thing did they end up fixing the like the fact that hackers can hack into um, streamers mid tournament or like uh, pro players mid tournament? That's crazy. Oh. Like, how do you how do you come back for that as a game as like a, a development team? Like, how are people ever gonna trust your game again? What's up, Tanner? How you doing? It is me, she me. Oh, crap. And I'm on the fence. I, I, I want to, like, potentially have this conversation with chat. Since my surgery is going to be delayed another three months. I'm wondering if it's worth looking into at least budgeting part of the money I'm saving into starting the the VTuber fund. You know what I mean? Because I do have some money saved up now for when I have to take off. So do I take the next three months to keep just dumping into that savings or take a chunk of that saving or keep saving and then also put another bit of it aside so like a percentage i don't know what the percentage would be smart and start funding the vtuber model i'm not sure at this point because by the time i get surgery or at least approved for surgery it'll be june i don't know I guess it depends on how much uh, I can work in the next coming months. That's from that. Let me check out the store. I haven't seen the store. New sword pack. It looks like the Kadachis. I don't need a Kadachi skin. A pigeon. Oi. You really kick ass. You know that. Yeah. What if? Wh why is it so freaky looking? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hey, I'll go back. Forty-five months. Thank you for the wreath, Deb. I appreciate you. It's been two years. Ooh, cherry blossoms. 
I am a sucker for cherry blossoms. That is a really, that is really pretty. But I already have like uh, it's. Why are these so expensive? For one. <gasps> Not a battle, sister. Oh no. Ah, feeling much better now. A strong woman, my my one of my many weaknesses. <laughs> a strong woman in armor. Hey yo. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, so it changes the kills. That makes so much sense. I was gonna say, the, I feel like the Warhammer guys are too big for this game, but uh... They worked it into the, the lore. It's a, it's a jug kill streak. Oh, and there's a riot shield! This pack looks amazing, but it's 3,000 COD points. The Japanese. The Wagyu pack. Purchase all bundles for this collection. Instant noodles. You can just put it together. You have to purchase two of these packs to get a skin. To unlock the character model. That's obnoxious. The instant ramen pack is kind of calling my name. I'm not going to lie to you. The weeb in me is, is pleased. But I do not like that business practice of like, you got to buy both these, these separate packs to get what you want. I'd rather just have Michonne. Because Michonne's a beast. That's how they get you. I know. Dude, Michonne looks so cool, dude. We have to choose He's like good perfect guys. in this game. They really did a great job with the character model. I'm I'm tempted. I'll wait though. I'll wait. I wish her hair looked more like this image here. I'm not rocking the bob. This will make a good story. Her outfit's nice though. I like the outfit. It was by the pack. I know. At some point I'll get Michonne. She got a cool pack too. Dang. There's a lot of uh, melee weapon packs. What? Why is it? Dude, it's animated. Let me see more animation. Like, it, it looks so cool. That's such a cool effect. Put more here so I can actually see it. It just feels so... Pointless in an FPS to have an animated skin and then you don't put anything on the part of the skin where I can actually see it consistently. More of a reactive camo. Yeah. I mean, for all intents and purposes, most people will see that as the same thing. They get your point. This looks cool and this feels like a decent, like, this feels like a good price. You get one gun, some stickers, and a charm. And it's moon themed. I actually really like this pack. But I'm an edgelord, so like... <laughs> I was an emo kid in school, alright? That looks really sick. This looks like... Something straight out of a... Uh, Warframe. What the hell is this? Well, maybe not. Not from the front. My team is counting on me. This feels so random. Oh my god. It's 
seen kid in the 2000s. They didn't call it seen back in the day. This looks cool too. Another pack behind, like, you have to pay money. You can't just use your card points. Like this, if there was going to be a pack I spent money on, it would be this one. I love techware. Techware looks so techware dope like to me. Not a face, mom. Not a face. Mm -mm. I can't tell you how much anime crap I used to buy when I was a kid. Uh, can you see if the new... I don't know what skin that is, Joker. I don't think so. Uh, to be fair, I haven't been on in like two weeks. So like, I don't know what stuff is brand new and what isn't. Pizza rolls, dude. I haven't had pizza rolls in a hot minute. To be fair, I haven't had pizza in forever. I I like pizza too much. It's one of those foods that I'm just, I have to avoid because I, I enjoy it too much. Augmented horror for Jet. I don't remember that one. I do Jet. I do have a skin for Jet. That's the cat girl skin. The sign of streams. Uh, it's not you. It's been me. I haven't been streaming. I've been I've had a lot of personal stuff going on lately. PlayStation packs. Nice. Hope your day's been chill so far. It's been chiller than most this week, so I'll take it. Your girl has been stressed. Finally getting back to, like, some level of normal. We'll see. Dude. Yeah. Papa John used to be like the go-to pizza I used to get until that crazy nonsense. Um, although now Shaq owns a majority of Papa John's, right? Where he's like, I don't know if he owns a majority or if he owns like a lot of stocks and now he's a spokesperson. Stressing too, yeah. Something in the, something's in the water, dude. A lot going on lately. The enemy has captured two objectives. Get them secure. Securing objective alpha. Tina normal. Pick one. Those are not mutually, mutually exclusive. Yeah, look up uh, look up Shaq and Papa John's. I think you'll find that he owns a percentage of uh, Papa John's now. Shaq invests in a lot of stuff, actually. Like, Shaq is a businessman. That's why he's always spending money on random people, because he makes so much money he doesn't know what to do with it. He DJs for fun. Yeah, I went- uh, one day I went down a rabbit hole with Shaq. Like, just looking up all the stuff he does. Because he's trying to chase the high he would get from playing football, and he said the closest thing he's had to that was when he DJs. Let's look it up. There's Jack. Um, Papa John. We're losing Charlie. Uh, no, but he owns nine restaurants, which is a huge amount of. Oh. Okay. So he owns nine different restaurant Papa John's restaurants in Atlanta. He also per he also sold his rights uh, for the company to use his likeness and voice for eight point five million dollars. He acquired a thirty percent ownership stake in uh, the Atlanta scene. He has a thirty percent owner stake in the Atlanta Papa John's. There you go. Ah, you know. 
Now you have some shack lore. Does he own a wing restaurant? I wouldn't be surprised. I know, um... Post Malone owns... Is it a Canes? Does Post Malone own... He owns some sort of franchise. He has a location somewhere that's like... Fully customized. To be reminiscent of a sports team. The Cowboys? I don't think it's the Cowboys. I can't remember. I'll have to Google that one too. Hey, Epsilon. I'm just gonna club to Shaq for real. Apparently, he's a good DJ too. Like, he knows what's up. Thanks, Mango. I appreciate that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Lord have mercy. Enemy Finally off work for the stream for once. And it's only because my stream schedule is non-existent. I'm trying to get back into it. It's been super hectic. I mean, to be fair, it's hard to miss Shaq. The dude's like seven something. Like seven foot four. Something ridiculous. Range your shoulder. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully it, it heals fast. Anything better than a rotator cuff injury? I hear those are like the worst, uh, worst to try to recover from when it comes to your shoulder. It never wants to heal. That's why I'm, when I lift wakes, I try to do um, an arm band. I use a... Um, one of those stretchy bands to warm up my rotator cuffs, even though I'm barely lifting anything. Still don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, I've seen videos of Shaq holding water bottles. I've also seen a lot of videos of him falling. Apparently the man is a huge klutz. So he's always just tumbling in slow motion. It's so hard to describe if you don't see it. Because he, you would think that he's such a big guy, he would fall hard. But it's almost always him, like, slowly sitting down. He's just... It's so weird looking. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't... You don't have to buy that many skins in this game. I think once you have two or three, you're good. You're solid. One for each team, you know? Unless there's a gun skin that's like, you need it. They've changed how this one's animated. This one's animated way faster now, look. Or is it just because I'm getting a lot of ki like, I've gotten kills, so it now it's reactive. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Does it really matter? Yeah, I can't just be playing. I gotta play something else besides COD when I when I stream again. COD's fine, but um, it's it's not scratching that itch, you know. Need something exciting and new. That we're at to get like Omar to play or something. And even then, when I, whenever me and the boys try to play COD these days, it's just like, let's go play something else. Let's go play like, let's go play Battlefield or freaking Fall Guys. Hostile remote turret is active. I don't know, man. Like we even played, tried playing Search and Destroy, and like, it wasn't even that wasn't that fun, which is crazy because there's almost always some nonsense going on at Search. It doesn't work great. Roblox. I am a proud card holder of I've never played Roblox. I have zero desire to play that. Cap. No, not not actual. That is not cap. I have never played Roblox. Certified fact. I've also only played Gary's mod like twice. Yeah, you know, for as long as I've been doing this, I have dodged some games, man. 
It happens. Is this guy still up there? No. We're losing Charlie. Stardew? I don't want to. I wish I liked Stardew. It just doesn't interest me. I've tried. Same thing with, um... Terraria, I think. I've tried Terraria. I like the aesthetic of it. I just get so bored so fast. I do see, like, Roblox. I've seen that you can have, like, these really advanced um, games based on the engine. Like, it's it's not nearly as basic as it used to be, but I still am not interested. Survival games bore me. It's not that survival games, like... I disagree. Survival games don't bore me. I just, for whatever reason, those games don't really pique my interest. Like, I've played Minecraft for years. Even Minecraft I had to take breaks from. I have ADHD, man. I, it's very easy for my brain to just start going, ew, <laughs> when I'm playing games. It just shuts down. I, I get so disinterested so quickly some days. Like, I just cannot be bothered. Yeah, Minecraft's definitely one of those games that's, like, cyclical now. Like, every, you know, every six months you want to play it. That and, um... Team Fortress 2. That's another game I like playing every six months or so. Ark was really fun. Ark was a stupid fun game. I got really addicted to Ark for a while. But I really like dragons and dinosaurs. So, like, <laughs> of course I really liked Ark. Um, yeah, I had this really complicated solo world. I would literally play for hours. I wouldn't... I honestly would not hate Game Pass Roulette. Honestly... That sounds really fun. I'm just trying to be very intentional with my money right now. Um, yeah, the biggest problem with Ark is it's... it's. I haven't played it in years, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. It is very poorly optimized. That game... I, I have not played a game that I've been that into that was so... God awfully optimized. Um, granted, I haven't played Ark in like over five years. Let me check. It'll probably say 2017, something like that. Um, and my computer was worse back then. Like my, my computer was bad. Yeah, t January 3rd, 2017. But it ran terribly. <laughs> it ran so bad. Still fun though. Funny enough, Game Pass literally has a ran random roll option in the app. That makes sense. I mean, they, they are trying to be like Netflix at this point. No PC, so I'm stuck on Minecraft Bedrock. You'd be surprised how well Minecraft can run on really terrible computers. I had, in 2011 or 12, I had a, a Best Buy Pentium, and I ran Technic on that computer. Very poorly, but I ran it. Um, and computers, laptops especially, are so much better than they were when I was younger. Um, so if you have a cheap laptop, you might be able to get a, get away with modding Minecraft a little bit. And if you own it on, um, console, I think if you log into your desktop, like, my, like Microsoft on PC, you'll be able to play it on PC. I, I only just now got Stanley Parable this year. That I wouldn't have gotten an achievement. Man, I'm having more fun just talking, chat. <laughs> Instead of playing the game. Call of Duty, what have you become? I'm just chilling at the home screen, just talking about video games. God. What a state of affairs. Back in my day, we played video games on Channel 3. I was a Channel 4 household, thank you. Channel 4, and we we sat on the floor, dude. We, we exclusively sat on the floor as kids. 
What's up, Jaded Crayfish? How you doing, fam? Yeah. That was good times, man. Playing Midnight Club, sitting on the floor on a Saturday after, you know, going to Blockbuster or something. Getting the, like, we used to get the Blockbuster popcorn bowls. So it's like a movie theater bucket and the popcorn is like built into the bucket. We always burnt it. We always burnt it. The instructions say, do not use the popcorn button. Put it in for a minute and something seconds. We always pushed the popcorn button and it always got burnt and we always ate it anyway. <laughs> It was a, like, guarantee every time we got that stupid popcorn bucket. And we'd all get candy and, you know, we'd play either GTA or Midnight Club or Bloody Roar. Um, or uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. I think we played two the most. And we all sat on the floor and we had one of those... We had one of those big TVs. It wasn't a plasma TV. It was one of those really big TVs with the speakers built into the, the into the frame, and you can press on the TV, and it was like a plastic, like um, it had this weird texture, and you can scratch like scratch your nails on it, and it sounded like a bookmark. It's this is like such a niche, this is such a niche conversation for like the people who know what I'm talking about. You know how agendas when you used to go to school had that texture to them sometimes when they were holographic. And you like your nails could make a noise on it. That's how like the TV I had growing up was one of those like fake plasma TVs that you can scratch your nails on. It would make that sound. If you know that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it's so niche and specific. A lot of people under the age of like 25 are gonna be like, what is she talking about? Thank you for the hundred bitters. I appreciate it. Nostaldamus88 cheered. X100. <laughs> Thank you. Because the old. I was so sad when we moved out of my, my old house as a kid. I loved that TV. That t It was like a fifth. It wasn't 50 inch. I was tiny. I was like. I was 10. But to me, that TV was huge. It was like a 30 inch. One of those big box TVs with the speakers built in. But it was so. It was already really old and dated and i was like we gotta take it with us I'm like no and they just they my my dad and his buddies just threw it down the stairs because they thought it'd be funny and i was so sad dude i was so sad <laughs> i loved that tv <laughs> before i was a gamer i was i was like a religious tv kid i used to watch uh, uh, disgusting amounts of tv animal planet discovery Cartoons, anything and everything. TV movies. So that was a sad day for me. Yeah, the Midnight Club games were so good. I didn't. I learned uh, recently that Midnight Club was um, a Rockstar property. I did not know that. Watch, yeah, old TV movies. That's how I watched um, my first horror movies was through TV. I watched uh, House of Wax. That movie still haunts me to this day. Ugh. I can't talk about it because it's so gory. But you know the scene where he's going down the stairs? I'm not going to talk about it because I'm on TikTok. That scene still haunts me to this day. I hated that scene. That and I swear I'm afraid of needles because of Saw 2. I think that I saw that on TV. I think that that scarred me for life. Last game was 2008. Really? No, no, no. They came out with the Midnight Club uh, in in the 2010s. It wasn't 2008. Yeah, I was a huge TV kid growing up. Huge TV kid. Cause my my mom hated it. Cause my mom wanted me to like be in like have you know go out and live life and experience things and have friends. I didn't have friends. I didn't want friends. I was good by myself. Um, and my dad's like, she's, she's not doing substances. Let her watch TV and play video games. Who cares? <laughs> like that was my dad's mindset, right? She's safe. She's not doing anything. And she's, it, and my dad was a TV person too. My dad loved, um, his thing is, is like eighties action movies and Kung Fu movies. That was his favorite. That was his favorite, favorite. Uh, Tex cool. What's up, dude? Welcome back. Thank you for the pump up. 
three pump ups. I appreciate you. So yeah, my dad like ew. dad's a huge Bruce Lee fan. He loved the Rocky movies. Loved Arnold and everything. So I watched a lot of those movies growing up too. And my dad, who's the one who inundated me into video games. The, the dude was a sh super nerd. My mom hates video games. <laughs> she doesn't get... She doesn't bit get video games, but I had to like explain to her. I'm like, my mom loves trash TV. Because my mom, after a long day, she likes watching trash TV to turn her brain off. And I'm like, mom, that's like what I do with video games. It's the same thing. I turn my brain off. She's like, I don't get it. Only game my mom played was Pac-Man. <laughs> Mrs. Pac-Man back in the like 80s uh, with the um, when she used to go to arcades when she was younger. That was like the extent of uh, how much she played video games. So I always get super like I I'm always so happy when when people tell me, oh, yeah, my mom loves video games. They're like, dude, that must be so nice. <laughs> that must be so cool. That your mom likes playing video games with you. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> Like, I would love if my mom played video games. But, you know, it's just not her thing. Last game in the series was 2008. Wow, I'm just old then. Mom likes the cringe Hallmark movies. My mom does too. My mom likes, again, my mom likes really happy-go-lucky stuff. My Like, she explained it. She's like, the world is depressing enough as it is. I want, she wants her, like, fairy tales and rom-coms. That's her thing. I don't know, if it brings her joy, I'm not going to take that away from her. It's a way from her to de-stress from the day and pretend like life isn't a constant uphill battle. tried getting into Mario. Yeah, my dad doesn't play video games anymore because he's afraid he'll get addicted again. Like, he loves video games, but he knows, like, he knows himself. He'll be playing for hours. What's up, newbie? No. But he'll ask me all the time. He's like, is there any new games coming out? Is there any good games coming out? He's like, tell me about it. He's like, <laughs> he's like living through me when it comes to video games. Like, anything cool? I'm like, yeah, Dad, guess what? They're making a Blade game. He's like, no way! I love Blade! I'm like, I know you love Blade! <laughs> Again, another movie we watched a ton when I was younger was Blade. Plays when he gets chance. Nah, my dad, he doesn't trust himself. Does uh, Papa Knives watch? Not really. I do talk about like I don't know I do simp a lot and my dad I think that makes my dad uncomfortable <laughs> my dad's like very prim and proper when it comes to that kind of stuff so he's like I don't want to hear my, my daughter thinking about women <laughs> I, I think I genuinely think that's why my dad doesn't watch my videos and stuff I think he tried I think at one point he tried to be supportive and then he was like oh nope <laughs> And I pre I understand and I appreciate it. My dad's very prudish when it comes to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Pretty much, Luna. Pretty much. And he's like, mm, no. <laughs> and I, I get it. I totally respect that. I totally respect that. He's also very supportive. He's always like happy whenever I hit like milestones. Dad built your gaming PC. One thing about my dad, he, he is not a handyman. It, my dad is like the antithesis of handy. Like I, I love him to death. He has his strengths. Um, blue collar stuff, not his strength. <laughs> Anything like plumbing, Building, repairing. That's just not him. He, he wasn't built for that. This is not what he was made for. Um, demolition? Absolutely. Go through a wall, that man. Um, building the wall? It's not staying up long, I don't think. Um, so... 
<laughs> Epsilon, you don't have to phrase it like that, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, no one no one in my family is very handy. Uh we just Google stuff these days. We're we're capable enough to like build stuff if it's if it's Googleable. Otherwise it's we're kinda boned. DIY. I don't think I've ever seen my do my dad do DIY DIY once, ever. I don't think ever. I remember asking him once. I'm like, Dad, you know, what if what if I'm the what if I, I'm in a relationship and I'm I take more of like the the traditionally masculine role with you know my girlfriend, right? And my dad just looked at me like, y you know the internet exists, right? You can just Google that. I don't have to teach you how to change your oil or your tire. Just Google it. Like, you have a point. Actually, that, that's a very valid point because I've been telling him that for years. Whenever he asks me to do something, I'm like, dad, just look it up on YouTube. It'll explain it better than I can. <laughs> and he just threw it right back at me for the first time. It caught me off guard. He pulled the Uno reverse because it's true. It's so true. Learn how to take off my truck door. I learned how to replace one of the lights in my car. I'm not going. I'm not going to a shop and leaving my car there for God knows how long for a two hundred dollar fee when I can do it for thirty dollars. It was literally like, all right, this is how you change this. You take this flathead and you pop that open, and then you're good. And then you switch the light bulb, and then you pop it back in. That's it. That's as simple as it was so simple. And I'm sure a shop would have charged me a hundred bucks easy. I can do DIY stuff. I've built all my furniture. I'm capable. I in fact I'm one of those I'm one of those uh you know one of those people who likes building IKEA furniture and whatnot. I think it's relaxing. I love doing that. So I don't want to hear it. Tina can't DIY. DIY. I can't. I can't say it because I'm dyslexic. But I can do it. <laughs> I love building furniture. <laughs> I love reading the instructions. I like putting on some music or a TV show, and just casually putting together some furniture. I. It's so satisfying. It's like large Lego. I'm not, which is weird because I'm not really into Lego. Mostly because it's mad expensive. <laughs> Luna, no. No, it's so fun building furniture. What do you mean? It's like perfectly mundane. I, I, I've explained this to a couple of people. I love really mindless, monotonous tasks. Probably why I could play Call of Duty for so many years. I love really simple tasks that I can shut my brain off to. It's great. It's very, it's very relaxing. I'm about to outsource my furniture building to you. And it's partially why I like farming for gold and wow. It's not that it's time efficient. It's because I can turn my brain off. I love sol- Shut up, Gooby. I love solitaire. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I used to collect my thing, my family, everyone in my family growing up got a thing when we would travel. My thing was playing cards. To this day, I got rid of those playing cards when I was little. But to this day, my mom, whenever she goes somewhere, she buys me playing cards. Uh, and I used to play solitaire either on my laptop, because it was free back then. Or I'd play it with my actual playing cards. Then I used to, you know, I play like spades and kapiku and all that with cards as well. Um, but yeah, I, I love solitaire. New streamer, old streamer. Do you like building puzzles? I do like puzzles. I don't do it as much anymore because it, it takes up space. I do like puzzles, though. 
I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm like a puzzle person though, because I don't co actively collect them. I try. I'm trying to be very intentional with what I buy these days. Dominoes, yeah, I like playing dominoes, but that's because my parents played a lot of dominoes growing up, and I would play with them. Dominoes, spades, kabiku. Um, I think kabiku is dominoes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Uno. Minesweeper. I was never really into Minesweeper. I played Doodle Run. I played a lot of Flash games growing up. Cool Math Labs. Cool, cool My Math Labs, something like that. Played a lot of games on there. Yeah, at this point we're just talking. Which is fine by me. Yeah, Flash games were dope. When we playing dominoes with the stream, I'd have to like re. Uh, you guys have to re-explain the rules to me. Played a lot of Clue growing up, Clue and Monopoly. My family hates Monopoly though. We never finished a game. I don't think ever we. I don't think once we finished a game. But I played a ton of Clue. That was. I think that was my favorite board game was Clue. Uh, and Jenga. My family likes Jenga because it's simple. The problem with games like Monopoly is it goes on forever, if you let it. Yeah, because again, my mom wasn't a big video game person, so whenever my mom wanted to play a game, it would be a physical game, a board game, a card game. Um, When I was playing with my dad or my brother it would be video games oh it's called something else in europe gotcha colonel mustard i think colonel mustard was my favorite or scarlet she was the lady in red i think that was scarlet it would make sense right I dropped my pen. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other board games I played. I'm sure there were more, I just can't think of them. Spoons was fun too. Spoons is another card game you can play. That That's a game I played a lot of vacation, because it's easy to bring a deck of cards anywhere, and most hotels have spoons. So Spoons was a, a family favorite. Then it was kind of a way to like tackle your teammate <laughs> or tackle a friend right as part of spoons is like you get to dive on the table to grab a spoon whenever someone i think if someone has a flush or something um or uh four of a kind you dive to grab the spoons so whatever they, it's like musical chairs but with cards so in order to stay in if you if someone grabs a spoon everyone else has to grab a spoon sorry i did we did have sorry. Best streamer right here. I'm just talking about childhood, dude. I haven't played. I don't think I've played a round in like 30 minutes. Yeah, we also played a lot of sorry. Uh, I, I didn't play a lot of PC games till I was older. I didn't play PC games until I was an adult. Unless you count like the jumpstart games. If you... If you didn't grow up in the 90s, you probably don't know the edutainment jumpstart games. How do you send a link? On Discord. Oh. I was a hooked on phonics kid, and then, like another reason to get my mom. My mom was like, if she's going to play games, she might as well play like games that are good for her brain. So I played, uh, there was an edutainment series called Jumpstart, and it like there was one for each grade until like fifth grade or something. Um, so I played those a lot as a kid. Played a lot of those. And they had like an actual story. That and oh my god, dude. I used to go to the library to Liza Kid. Because it's free, right? And my parents, and when I was real young, my parents didn't have a lot of money. So it was a way to keep the kid, kids distracted, take them to the library. You would think, oh, well, go to the books. No, I went to the computer section and I waited and I'd be like, excuse me, ma'am. 
I would like to play Putt Putt Goes to the Zoo. I I swear to God, I, I did that for like two years. Every time I went to the library, I'd, I'd ask the librarian like, excuse me, can you, can you help me? Oh, do you need help finding a book? No, I want to play Putt Putt Goes to the Zoo. <laughs> That was my jam, dude. It was another edutainment game. There was a there was a character called Putt Putt. He's a little purple car, uh, and it's just again it's an edutainment game. So you you like solve mysteries and you you do little mini games. I that game was so fun as a little kid. I loved that game. Let me see. Can I find a video? Again, this is like a flash edutainment game. Putt Putt goes. There was a bunch of them. There was like Putt Putt goes to the zoo. Putt Putt goes to the moon. This is the one I played. I don't think I ever finished it. I always did the same levels over and over again. Hold on. This is Putt Putt goes to the zoo. It's just it's just a like list of everyone who's missing. Really basic little kids game. I was like, this is one of my earlier memories, so maybe five or six playing this game. Bro, if there was a game I could have ever sped run, it was Putt Putt Goes to Zoo. Little me could have sped, if I like actually like sat down and get, someone gave me like the instruction manual, because I didn't own the game. I only played it when I would go to the library. If someone gave me the instruction book, I could have became a little speedrunner, dude. I could have beaten that game so much. But I didn't have the instructions, so I never fully finished the game. Uh, Pajama Sam. No, but I know the character you're talking about. He's like blue. He's like a little blue dude who wears like a blanket as a cape. I think that's who Pajama Sam is, right? Never played it, but I would see him a lot in like the store. That and my brother had this old, this is an old game. It had a flight stick. It was, if I had to guess, it was probably a 97, 98 game. So it was old, 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 old. Um, I never played it myself, but I did watch him play it a couple times. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the oldest game I think I played on PC was probably Minecraft. I, again, I didn't become a PC gamer until I was older. Um, and Team Fortress 2, because Team Fortress 2 actually ran pretty good on my computer. So now, like, I, I whenever I hear the the... The sound for when you get an item in Team Fortress 2, it's very nostalgic to me. Farmville? I never was uh, on Facebook, so I never played Farmville. 3D Paintball was so fun. That counts. That counts! I would say then that predates Minecraft for me, because I, I did used to play that a lot. I would say that counts. If that's the case, that's probably most people's first game. Bro, that uh, that game's coming out this year. Scroll with Gun. It's coming out later this year. They didn't announce a proper date, but it, I think we're finally getting it. Fall 2024. So in six months, I'm gonna be a little Scroll with the Gun. It's gonna be sick. Hopefully, Scroll will get a knife. That'll be cool. Hey Dale, what's up, dude? First PC game was Terraria. It's weird. I love watching channels like um, LGR and uh, Metal Jesus because they they have a way of making me nostalgic for games and things I never enjoyed as a kid. I think they're both a good. Metal Jesus is like 
10 to 15 years older than me. And then LGR, I think, is like five or six years older than me. So they both have like predating nostalgia. But it all has a very similar vibe to what I played growing up and watched growing up. So it, it's like, again, I get nostalgic for things I never directly experienced because it came from the same era. So I love watching stuff like that. I could do it for hours. Oh lord. That and it's less nostalgic, but Dank Pods is great because he, he goes over a lot of like iPod stuff. Old iPod stuff and old MP3 players. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of channels I love, uh, Bright Sun? Bright Sun Films? Have you guys ever seen that guy? He talks about, like, this is kind of in this topic of nostalgia. He talks about companies that have either gone through bankruptcy or have completely gone out of business. Uh, and he's talking about Borders, which is one of my favorite stores from when I was a kid. He's talking about how that, that bookstore went under. Very niche topic, I know. I'm just looking at my my sub box on YouTube. Okay. I'm gonna link you guys on on Twitch chat. Go go like Omar's video. I mean it. Go like the video. Post the Helldiver video. Again, thank you for all the follows on TikTok today, guys. I really appreciate it. And the, the follows on Twitch and YouTube too as well. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love me a good video essay, dude. I, I love I love a good video essay. If you're looking for a channel that does good video essays uh on like cartoons, um like adult cartoons like Futurama and um Rick and Morty or Bojack Horseman, Johnny Two Cellos. Great video essays. Great video essays, dude. It is like that got me through like some of my worst pain days because I need something to distract me. Um, Ahoy, yeah. He used to go by, back in my day, he used to be called Xbox Ahoy because uh, he used to talk about specifically video game weapons. Uh, or games and how they tie in with video games, but now it's, um, he just talks about I guess it's, he still talks about how weapons tie into video games um he's just kind of changed the way he presents it which is cool only problem is he only posts like once a year it's just rich coming from me Oh, and Helldivers, apparently, um, we're be because we failed the executive order, um, I can't say it on TikTok, but, um, human reproduction has been banned until further notice. Feels bad, man. No more. Because <laughs> we failed the order, dude. No. Mission failed. <laughs> we'll get on next time. No. I could make so many jokes about that, but I'm behaving as a TikTok. Playing Apex. Dude, after seeing that Apex hack, I do not feel comfortable playing that game. I uninstalled that game so fast. <laughs> nope. Nope. Thanks, but no thanks. 
wasn't getting anything in the beginning, but still, right? What if what if I get a chance now? Now I can't do it. But the loaded and rigged. Godspeed, gamer. Godspeed. You'll never see it coming. Ah, oh, I can't. Who mentioned Persona? You're banned, because now I, I got that stupid song stuck in my head. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> and I missed the Steam sale. I didn't buy any games during the Steam sale. I'm so mad about it. All this stuff's been going on. I was going to buy a Resident Evil game, because it was like 10 bucks. Dang it, dude. You felt comfortable playing EA, EA games at some point? Yeah. They weren't always trash, dude. They weren't always a disappointment. Same thing with Ubisoft. They weren't always evil. They fell from grace. Luna, you might as well be in, be speaking French. I have no idea what you're talking about. Titanfall was amazing, though. I heard. They, apparently, they're coming out with a, a, another game in the universe, but it's not going to be Titanfall 3. People are bummed about it. The Titanfall fans were bummed. Whoa. Why did that default to Bing? What the hell? Oh, my computer changed some settings. Hold on. I'm on Google. So it should default to Google Chrome and Google search engine. But somehow it switched to... Bi I'm so... No, it's still Google. I'm trying to Google the last thing I Googled and it's pulling up Bing. What the hell? Copilot, get out of here. It's because the stupid co-pilot crap is trying to override everything. Jeeves, that was my preferred search engine when I was a kid. That was my favorite. Oh, speaking of which, chat, you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to have to do a... Third stream soon. Not today. But soon. Girls gotta pay bills. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. But one of these days we're gonna have to do another sponsored stream. Welcome back. Thank you for using your basil bucks on me. Appreciate you. Also, did this the other day smile. No worries, Sheriff. Thanks for hanging out, my dude. Hey, don't bonk me. Six month streak. Thanks so much. We've gotten a lot of subs today. I appreciate you guys. You can also now subscribe on YouTube. It's called memberships, but it's the same concept. If you don't like Twitch and you want support, you can do uh, memberships or super chat. Up to you guys. Stop it. Good. Why am I having more fun just talking and playing the video games? What the f What is going on with me? Never in my life. Oh, did Rodent Royale? Is that still in beta? Yeah. I think they're still having like closed, closed tests. Kind of a bummer. I have a bunch of games uh, that I should probably install on my computer because I have a bunch of epic games that I got for free. A to Z. Oh. 
because I typed in fall for like fall guys. Bro, I wish there was another game like Alien Isolation. That game was so freaking good. A bridge constructor? The Walking Dead? Dude, there's so many terrible Walking, <laughs> walking Dead tie-in games. Damon X Machina. Ooh, Control. I do want to play Death Stranding one of these days. That's that's on the list. Hey, Katranas, what's up, dude? Death annoyed. Yeah, that is super annoying. Yeah, the only the only Walking Dead game I know is good is the Telltale series. Play this, uh, for the story, Death Stranding. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's not that it epsilon. It's not getting scalped. It's um, it's just in very short supply because everyone and their mother's doing it. But I know what you mean, and the reason the companies are charging as much as they can is because they know people want it. It's a high, it's a very high in demand medication. Um. Yeah. Hopefully, you get that worked out with the the insurance. How's it going? It's going good. We're just chilling. Oh, thank you. People are selling it on Facebook. It's not real. You can't buy it on Facebook. That, I, I, I'm sorry. That sounds like one of the most Darwin-esque situations possible. To buy a medication off of Facebook. That sounds terrible. That, that sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. Um, yeah. No, that can't be, I can't, I can't take that serious. Absolutely not. Oh, I also have Doom 64 on here. That's cool. I have Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, there's a lot of games I could try out on here. I said the pre-install them. Can't wait for Death Stranding 2. The trailer has me intrigued, I won't lie to you. That trailer, like, it got me. The nonsense got me, dude. Right, let me stop the TikTok stream, just to be safe. Usually if I keep these streams shorter over there, I have less issues. There we go, now I can curse again. Fuck yeah! We're free. Feels fucking good, man. Oh, I do have to finish, um... Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. That is true. They are making another Death Stranding. You can check out the trailer on YouTube. Um, rush cyberpunk that that might be a, what i play next stream i think that'll be a good call i love how the telltale walking dead game is canon to the comics but the tv show is not yeah because it's an individual canon it has its own individual canon and separate licensing that's what happens when you have a franchise as big as, big as the walking dead is it, it Stuff gets real muddy real quick with licensing. Although, I will say, it is kind of ridiculous how AMC has become the Walking Dead channel. Because they have so many different Walking Dead shows now. They have, like, five or six Walking Dead shows. Which is insane. I mean, they are milking that cow dry. Uh, they wanted to license the show to AMC, but no, so they went to Image Comics and they said yes. Oh, well, there you go. I wouldn't be surprised if it got made into a thing later on, because, like, The Last of Us is doing spectacularly well, and that would be an excellent response uh, with AMC if they came out with The Walking Dead with Clementine, because they have very similar premises. Eh, not premises. They have similar, um, that... Uh, reluctant father 
to an uh, an adopted child, specifically an adopted daughter uh, dynamic. It's been done quite a few times now. And I, last time I checked, the last of us TV show did really well. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to watch. Speaking of things I've been wanting to watch that I can talk about now because the uh, TikTok is not streaming anymore. Uh, there's a lesbian movie out called uh, Love is Something? Love is Business? Something like that? It's about a female bodybuilder and she falls in love with her trainer or something like that. I'm intrigued. And one of the lesbians is Kristen Stort. So I kind of want to see it. What is it called? It's Love is Something. Uh, Love Lies Bleeding. Even the title sounds gay. <laughs> I'm so excited. How you been? Super stressed. Super stressed. Life has been terrible lately, but I'm hanging in there. Um, but yeah, the lesbians. Oh my god. And Kristen Stewart did a photo shoot with her co-star. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> That was, um, wow. Gay. Very, very gay. Um, which I appreciate. Dude, I, I've been vibing. I've been really enjoyed Kristen's short. Um, I had the biggest crush on her when I was younger, and I was so excited when she came out. <laughs> like, I have a chance. But I was so pumped. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I felt so, like, validated. Apparently Venom 3 is coming out. Venom, The Last Dance. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. This thirsty woman tweeted. Jesus. Dude, some women, some women are depraved. Uh, need his tongue so far he can tie my fallopian tubes into a ribbon. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Dude, just when I think I'm um simping, there are there are VTubers who are far far greater simps than me. Good lord. What did I just hear? I read a a tweet. From Bo the Whale. Bo, Bo the VTuber. That was her quote tweet when she saw that Venom was being released. So, yeah. Wow. Wow. On main, too. She did that on main. I kind of respect it, honestly. <laughs> I kind of respect that level of bottom. <laughs> That's a that's some next level bottom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh anyway, I'm closing Twitter now. Cuz I'll I'll get distracted. Oh, what are we talking about? Before that, your crush was Seth Rogen. <laughs> Why is it is it his laugh? <laughs> is it his crazy laugh? I want to talk. For Helsin? Mm. I'm gayer than I think sometimes. Cause when like Helsin, I feel like if I were to be attracted to a man, it'd be a man like Helsin. And then I had the like I tried like I tried the romance option with him and I was just like so uninterested. Not a neuron fired, nothing. And then Shadow Horror or Carlac or Lizel kind of like cough in my direction. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you believe it? They were like right next to me. <laughs> yeah, Carlac is just perfect. She's too perfect, dude. But she rejected me, bro. 
She's the only character in my first playthrough. I haven't finished it. I'm in Act 3. She's the only character who's outright been like, nah. Nah. We're just friends. We're just good mates. She literally said, ew, no, we're just good friends. The worst she can say is no, right, bro? The worst she can say is no. No, the worst she can say is ew. <laughs> Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Don't kick me while I'm down! It's so brutal. Mm mm. It hurts the most. Don't worry, I'll romance her on my second playthrough. Good lord! Someone posted a picture of their uh, player character in, in Dragon's Dongma, and it is a giant lesbian. Good lord. That's a lot of muscle. Okay, uh, closing Twitter again. I don't know how that opened by itself. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> muscle memory, I guess. Rejected Shadowheart and Lazelle. I, I don't think Lazelle ever tried. I think Lazelle tried, like, during the... Um, I think pretty much like half your followers will try to sleep with you during the goblin, like the celebration after the goblin camp. But uh, that's the only time Lizelle has ever showed any sort of interest. Historian, no, I get it, but I also don't get it. Historian screams toxic relationship to me, and some people are really into that. I'm not. Unless you're talking about the two lesbians in that one anime game, that that's not that's that's not my fault. <laughs> um, Gail, yeah, I saw that with Gail. No, Gail, I find Gail so uninteresting. I think because Gail reminds me about of a lot of a lot of things about myself that I don't particularly like. Um, so it's less a it's less a I don't like Gail. It's I don't like me. <laughs> Boys uh, swim in a group of four. Yeah, don't fish. I feel like that's just like a fish thing to do. I didn't know they like were coordinated like that though. I thought the chaos was part of like the strategy. Yeah, pretty much Katranus. Everyone but Carlac. Carlac's like giving me a hug, like, and that's like the most. The worst of it is just like, oh my god, we should hug. Will's hot, not gonna lie. Will is probably the person I would pick in a real life situation. Like if these were real characters, like based on like my everyday personality, Will would be the best partner, I think. Carlac would be fun. Um, but Car I feel like Carlac when it comes to like me as a person 24 seven, I don't think I could keep up with Carlac. In my like, my brain I could. In real life, no way in hell. <laughs> I would be so tired so fast. Will, though, Will would take care of me. Will would dance with me. He would bring me flowers. He would read poetry to me. Will is like the perfect husband. Carlac would send me to the hospital. <laughs> like, let's go dive off this cliff. I'm like, let's not. <laughs> If I had my character's body and I could just dive off a cliff and just res, yeah. If I would, like were to teleport into the game and live as those characters, Carlac. IRL will. I would die so fast if Carlac and I were a per If Carlac was a person. Oh no, dude. Uh, it'd be game over. Not just because the third degree burns. Gail, no. Gail's got... Gale's like, Gale, both Gale and Astarian scream, I gotta fix them. I don't want to fix any, I'm almost 30. I don't want to fix shit. <laughs> I don't want to fix anything. I want a stable man. Will's a stable man. He's got his life. To, he's got to deal with the devil. We, we can work that out. But everything else, him as a person, he's got that figured out. 
He knows what he wants. He's a man. He's a chival chivalful man. Chivalry? I don't know. Seriously, Katranis, with all, especially with all my health issues, it, you would just hear the Minecraft dee -dee 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 sound. I'm almost thirty. I still want to fix them. I don't. I, I will never understand that. I I can fix them. I don't want to fix them. I got enough problems. I got enough shit going on. You're almost thirty. Welcome. Welcome to the realization. How many grays you're you're counting these days? I counted an extra two grays this morning. They're right on my hairline, too. There's no bearing that. That was fun. That was a fun discovery. Got to the point where my, my family will try to pick pluck my grays, and I'm like, you're gonna you guys are gonna give like give me bald spots. It let it gray, baby. Let it gray. If I have to dye it, I'll dye it, but stop plucking my hair. Makes you, oh my god. I don't know, to Gen Z, it makes you a sitter, senior citizen. Found a gray at 20. Oh, yeah. You, I, I think my first gray was like at 17. You won't, like, just because you see one gray doesn't mean you're going to see a lot of them. Most people tend to gray really, really slowly. You'll get a gray here and there. Um,. You don't start really starting, you don't transition to like your 30s, most people anyway. And even then, I've seen people, they don't gray into like late 40s. It depends. I, I know a lot of people who've been gray since they were 20 and they just died really quickly so you didn't even notice. I feel like more people, especially men, dye their hair than you realize. To hide their grays. I'm trying to remember. I think I was like... I think I was also like 18 or 19. Yeah. That, that makes sense. That was uh... Ten, if it was 10 years ago, I was 18 or 19, yeah. It's genetic. You're gray, like the the rate in which you gray is genetic. My my thing the sucks about my gray hair is it's not even gray. It's silver, so it's like it lights up. <laughs> if you flash light on it, you, like it reflects light really well, which I do not like. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh God, the pollen's really bad right now. Yeah, I'm inside and I'm still sneezing. I had to change my clothes whenever I come inside. I'm sure I'm getting pollen all over me. Salud. Thank you. hurts like hell to sneeze yeah i've had this like weird thing if i it's so weird and specific it makes me think i might have arthritis in my neck when i turn my head to the left it has to be the left specifically the left if i bend it too fast it feels like it's gonna pop which is kind of a terrifying feeling to have in your neck um so i'm just trying not to turn my head to the left really quick these days I turn it's not when I turn it, it's when I bend it to the left like when you put your ear to your shoulder it's it's specifically that motion that it'll feel like a crick on the left side uh, I'm not fond of that kind of a terrifying sensation I'm not trying to accidentally paralyze myself also we hit 51k on on twitch 51k followers feels good man welcome guys um Trying to think. Oh my god, that's terrifying. A YouTuber I follow hit a million subs and had a stroke afterwards. 
Bro, blood pressure's no joke. I'm just saying. Um, if you have a history of high blood pressure and stroke in your family, you need to, like, from a young age, pay attention to that. You can have a stroke at any age. Like, make sure you stand up and stretch in between your sessions, guys. That's horrifying. Also, early detection saves lives. So, there's an acronym for strokes. I don't remember the acronym specifically. Hold on. Stroke acronym. Uh, I think it's I think it's smile. No, it's fast. Okay. So here here's the concept. Your face. If you're having a stroke, your face will. When you try to smile, half your face won't move. That's the first part of the acronym. Arms. If you try to put both your arms up and one doesn't go up on the same side, you're having a droopy face, that's another symptom of a stroke. Specifically, if you have someone try to push your arms down and if you can't hold one up, that's another bad sign of a stroke. Uh, speech, if you cannot understand speech or speak properly, that's another sign. If you have one or more of those symptoms, uh, call 911. Because if you can catch a stroke under an hour, you're far less likely to have permanent damage. Um, so there you go. Why'd you just try all those? I, I do it, uh, as a, like, um, a reminder. Um, cause, uh, a family friend had a stroke a couple years ago and because the, the person visiting her knew the acronym, they knew she was having a stroke cause she couldn't stand. So with her specifically, um, she had weakness in her legs and she couldn't stand up on one leg. And then he tried the, the other things in the test and he knew she was having a stroke. And that saved her. So now she doesn't have permanent damage. You wouldn't even know she had a stroke. Well, that drink lots of water. If you have high blood pressure, get that under control because high blood pressure is a very high risk factor for strokes. Um, burning toast is another one. Yeah. Is that a myth? Uh, as far as I know, no, it's not a myth. Because it, it's a different, it's not burning toast. It's the fact that you're having a miss, you're having a mixed signal with your sense. So when you're having a stroke, it's affecting the blood flow to your brain and it can cause misfiring because you can't, can't speak properly. Uh, you can't smile properly because your facial muscles are misfiring. Yeah. And um, another thing, too, is uh, a lot of people don't like watches and stuff like those smartwatches. But smartwatches are getting so sophisticated that if you have a fall, it'll contact the 911. So it's like... I'm tempted to get that for the older people in my family because a lot of people don't... A lot of older people... There's an unfortunate thing where they like they don't like buying things that are marketed towards old people because you don't want to feel like you're an old person. You don't want to have a life alert. You don't want to have a cane. You don't want to do these things. So instead, I'm tempted to get them just like a smartwatch because it has that functionality built in. So if they wear the smartwatch and they fall, it calls 911. Right, so it has the sa kind of like the same features as those old people devices without necessarily being an old person device. You know what I mean? So. Like they, especially the newer Apple Watches, they like get to detect arrhythmias. I don't know how like accurate they are, but if you have a history of heart issues and it it might catch you going into AFib earlier than you would normally catch it, I, I'd say it's worth it. Imagine you're sleeping and it falls triggers. Yeah, it, it's possible. Normally, it asks you to cancel it. That's the thing. It'll normally, you'll fall and it'll be like, do you need assistance? And if you're unconscious, you won't answer the, the question and it'll keep doing it by default. Um, people have heart issues in their sleep. People die in their sleep all the time. 
So part of me is like, maybe it's better if it goes off in your sleep. Like, I know plenty of people who have sleep apnea where they stop freaking breathing. I wonder if that would, like, vibrate and wake them up. I don't know. But guys, that was a very short stream. Uh, I'll try to be back. I'm going to try to do some streams this weekend since I've been so... Um, I've been away for so long. But I, had, I still am kind of dealing with the ongoing thing IRL. So it's very like hit or miss on whether or not I can stream tomorrow. Oh. Hopefully I can. If not, please be patient with me, you know. Life is kind of happening. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it stream, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out for, on YouTube and Twitch. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Later.